So, Michael Kogan, late to the game as always. NM 2016, third place match. Eckerberg is up. Three to one. <laughs> and, folks, we got a barn burner here. Both extremely good teams. Stovner, a veteran of the experience. And, um, yeah, we got, uh, we got some good play coming up here. Yeah, Eckerberg is really stepping it up right now. Uh, they are, uh, they're fighting for third place, right, Mike? Correct. Yeah. That is, that is the place. situation. Um, let's see. Magnus is going to take the pull. Ah. Closer? Closer? Yeah. Closer. It's a condenser microphone, right? Okay. So it's really close. <laughs> I, t I tried that yesterday and I, I listened to the YouTube video and it was just like really loud so I could <laughs> crank it down. But I guess this is a good distance. And ah, if it's not, so. let us know. So, man with the glasses, number four, takes a swing. And that would be. Four is, uh, Arva, 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 Arva. Big, big hammer into the end zone, and Magnus fails to block it. This guy doesn't have a number, so you don't know his name. No, I. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Well, maybe if he turns around, then I'll see his number. But he's a. Oh. Yeah, Stoner, Stoner's uh, Foul. jerseys Foul are cold. old, so they don't have that. So not many of them have numbers. Their numbers are literally peeling off on the ones who do have some of their older jerseys. I hope one dot is here. He was a he was a fan favorite from yesterday. There was a man with a, a second digit missing, so I started calling him one dot because <laughs> that is the only way I can identify him. Oh, big hand block by Heine. He must feel pretty good about that. Yes. He's, look at him. He's still cold. Cold? What, what, is it, what does that mean? He, like, he doesn't. He doesn't celebrate at all. He just goes well, straight I, back. The game has only just begun, and Heine has a good give and go reception. And ma Matthias, sorry, Matthias. I was going to say Magnus. <laughs> Matthias finishes the job and gets the point. Yeah, really well played by both Ma Matthias and Heine. Yeah, the they thing is, is yeah. it's it's a it's a stacked team. There's just so many good players on Eckerberg, veterans of the sport, many of them. Um, same can be said for Stovner, but they got. These guys, have, they practice a lot. They have like really refined strategies, good give and go. Yes. Uh, where Stovner is mostly, it seems like they're mostly playing on instinct and doing a very good job with that. But it still can't make up for solid practiced strategy. What I think is cool about Stoner is that they only meet up once a year. And that, and that time is the, the word on the street. We don't know, when well, that's not 100% oh, right, true. Right. I've just been oh. spreading the rumor. Oh. <laughs> and I assume it is true. Yeah, but so it's it, a PR it, trick? <laughs> it's a PR trick to make him seem more intimidating, and, and they are very good. So, um, yeah, it's kind of awesome if that if they actually don't practice at all until they come here. Uh, they must be doing it. They, they, I know a couple of them. The a couple of them show up at pancake practice, but I think most of them generally don't play. Oh, I get it. That's what I know of so far. No chance. Too far outside. Hulkhorn picks up the disc. Let's see if he can finish the job. Swings it to Magnus. Magnus to Matthias. Matthias looking for Magnus, but he's a little hesitant and... Oh, Hulkhorn! What a well throw! Hulkhorn 2. Hulk I forgot his last name. Ustabru? Ust Damn it. <laughs> Urebru. Ah, I forgot his last name. Uh, it just says Hulkhorn. Double Hulkhorn. Ah. Hulkhorn, Hulkhorn I, will, I will remember your name. I've seen you on Facebook. I just cannot, I cannot recall what your last name is. <laughs> it happens, man. It's like Usta Blue or Usta Blue or some kind of bridge. There's yeah. a bridge involved in his last name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maybe Usta Blue, like East Bridge? Ust East? No, I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll retroactive, re <laughs> retroactively put it into this commentary. <laughs> a white headband receives. Oh, wide open. There was, there was a gap. Amazing there was play a wide, wide, Amazing play. wide gap in that zone. I think whatever zone um, Eckerberg played just did not work. account for that. <laughs> they just didn't account for the sides. Well, you can basically play a zone sort of in two ways, generally speaking. You can kind of like close down the sides or the middle. Yes. In that case, the middle seemed to be fairly locked, but they left a big gap kind of like past the midway point in that little like hole to the right from our perspective. Um, yeah, which Stoner took a huge advantage from. Yes, and indeed. Gave, and it gained them a point. 
Indeed, indeed. Oh, some roof contact there. Taking it a bit yeah. past the end zone line. Double point up to the sky. Matias takes it in the middle. Angrid takes it in the middle. Swings it to Matias. And Matias looking for something. Finding nothing, so he swings it. Heine. Great coordination. Ooh, Thank you very that could have been a block it wasn't. Great. Scott has it. Matias. Scott. Oh. Scott doing those dangerous catchings. You oh, there's something happened. What was that? I didn't see it, Mike. I don't know. I didn't see it either. It's a trip or something? Yeah, it must have been a, some sort of yeah, some sort of contact. Yeah, oh, contact right. on the shoulder. Yeah, uh, yeah. So there was contact on the shoulder, so the disc went yeah. back. Yeah. As previously mentioned, no contacts are allowed in ultimate frisbee. That's what makes it so majestic. Oh, same situation. Amazing play by Holcomb. Exact same. Uh, exact same place. Exact same receiver. Uh, no. Ha, yeah. Hulk, yeah. Hulk on with two A's is the uh, curly one. Yeah. yeah. Number five. Number five. five. I just called both of them Hulk. Yeah, there are two Hulk in this team. Yes. Since I know most of this team's um, <laughs> roster in one way or another, I kind of just default to their names instead of their numbers. <laughs> Whereas... Oh, uh, you should have seen me in the, in the last game I commented. I kept only using their numbers. Yeah, because if, if you don't know anybody. Totally All right, I think uh, um, t TFK doesn't have numbers in their jerseys, so uh, <laughs> the, name, the, the name sheet here has, like, dis distinguishing features. So, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blonde girl. Yeah, blonde girl. She was a big player. She was a big player in the last TFK game. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember her, the one with the smartwatch. Yeah. yeah. The smart one. Oh, Amazing oh, nice. Stoner, but it's not just yeah, good enough place. It was way out, yeah. No chance. So do you know why they're called Lulu? Is that a is that a thing? No or idea. Last year they were just called Stovner. I'm not sure where Lulu came from. Something is going on. Uh, he he held him. Oh. oh. An unfortunate drop by Magnus. Uncharacteristic for it because of his usually stellar performance. <laughs> he, did he has freakishly good reach, re reach and he just tends to like stick to the disc 99% of the time. I love his jumps, I must say. I've been He's practicing with him a lot and every time it's about a duel involving jumping, hmm. he no most chance. of the time wins. I don't think I've ever beaten him on a, like, in an end zone uh, floaty disc or blade competition. He always gets it. Do you know how long he has, been, he has been playing? A long time. He used to play, oh, this is a good time to go into Magnus's background, the man with the uh, greenish, green dotted cap. Yeah. He used to go to the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, where he played um, pretty regularly recreational ultimate, but he only got serious when he moved back to Norway a couple of years ago. All so right. he has exponentially improved his skill. Not enough to stop that pass specifically, <laughs> but he has exponentially improved <laughs> his skill. So uh, well said, well he can said. he can kick most people's ass if uh, playing against him. Several players on the Eckenberg team also have a strong strategic um, component to them. I know uh, Curly Hokon. Uh, <laughs> Hokon with two A's. Has a, he's, a, he's got a big. Uh, Fetish for talking about strategy and ultimate. <laughs> he really likes to see gaps and openings and idealize scenarios. So that's his thing. Matthias also uh, he he told me once that he watches ultimate games like casually. Sometimes he goes to practice and then goes home and watches like a pro ultimate game. That's cool. That's a lot of ultimate for one man, but that's cool. <laughs> Those are really cool games. Though. You watch the uh, the American. What are the American leagues again? I forgot those. Leagues. I never watched uh, Major League Ultimate, but uh, League I've watched a couple of like uh, European high-level games. And Magnus. Magnus. Showing some stellar characteristic performance. That was a well cut. He took great advantage of the opening in the space in the end zone. What he does. 
even with an injured ankle, which he apparently injured in Singapore. Oh, really? Recently, his company sent him to Singapore uh, on a work trip, and he ended up checking out the pick a pickup game in Singapore, where apparently like 60 people showed up, just <laughs> for like a random like Wednesday pickup game. Wow. And uh, he sprained his ankle there. Oh. But it sounded like a cool place to sprain your ankle, so Must at least he got that. Yes. It wasn't some random practice. It was a Not in Norway, place. at least. <laughs> no. Not in Norway. Hokon pulls it. Oh, that is an outdoor hammer. That is an outdoor hammer. There's not enough space for that. <laughs> some, of the, some of their old, old uh, outdoor instincts kicking in. Oh, oh, what? What is going on? I'm not sure. I think we will lose the end start to throw the back. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 they didn't been, place it well enough. Okay, it's a bit of a stickler call, but all right, sure. Hokon with an oh, <laughs> has the disc. Hokon with oh, the two A's has the disc. Amazing. Not a point, not a point yet. Let's see if it turns into a point. Oh, Hokon on Hokon, Hokon looking for Hokon. Hokon does not find Hokon. <laughs> Ingrid has the disc, looking for Hokon. Matthias all the, the way to the midfield. Swings it to Scott. Scott has the disc. S Matthias. Looking for Hulkon. Finds Hulkon. Um, Hulkon on Hulkon. Scott in the opening. Injury? Shoe tie. Equipment. Freeze. Equipment stoppage. <laughs> Some, I, I don't know. That's actually, that's actually <laughs> thing. I, just, I needed to apply a technical term to the situation. <laughs> Hokon on Hokon! Hokon on! Oh my god! Number nine. <laughs> I got so excited about that happening. Stoner but back in the game. Oh, Stoner! Oh, oh my god! Oh, two back-to-back -to -back mistakes for both teams. That is unfortunate. They could have taken that really slow and maybe even gained a point by it because it was totally open. You know, they, they lived the uh, um, live old, die old <laughs> lifestyle here. <laughs> wow! Oh my god, so many good chances. Did you see that, That Mike? made no sense. I did see it. I did see it. That was amazing. I think what I meant to say was I, I wish fast. something amazing happened, but... The possibilities are real. Yes, Aid does have the control. The boss on the sidelines. <laughs> he keeps the score for the scoring board. I assume he's also filling out like bureaucratic forms at the same time. He, he multitasks. He's known for that. So he, he's the one uh, who designed this tournament? No, I think... Didn't Pancake organize this? Or maybe he, he participated somehow. Oh, good block from Stovner. Thrown to Ingrid, but a bit too slow and allows for the yeah. blockage. Ingrid sometimes catches a disc even after it's blocked, but this time she uh, didn't react fast enough. True. It just went she right past her. Yeah. Gotta be ready for those bad blockages. Yep. Maybe you get a chance. Mr. Watch. <laughs> I don't know what other distinguishing feature to call him by. Mr. Watch is open and takes it, swings it, double swing, swings it to six. Um, White headband asking for another swing, gets it. Um, why? Why is the why? only question I have for White headband. <laughs> they do not. You always, you always respect Matthias. If you don't respect Matthias, that you're, you're gonna regret it. Hokon with an O. <laughs> Damn it. Awesome. Hokon with an O. Gets the disc. See, that's how it should be done. What, the numbers? Yes. See, the thing is, I know like a chunk of the names here, maybe like half. And then, like in BSI's case, I don't know a lot of the names, so I just like refer to their numbers. Or peri periodically, I find out their names. <laughs> and then I refer to them by the numbers, the names, and occasionally a random feature, like a hat. <laughs> Miss, I, I called, I think the one Matthew on your team? Yes. I called him by his number, his hat, his the hat brains. number. Yeah, there's just like so many, yeah. so many combinations of his names. Yeah, that braids I, yesterday. Braids, oh damn it, I didn't, I didn't think of that. Um, if I'm ever doing this again, I'll bring it into circulation. Yeah. <laughs>
Number four. Oh! Number four. Terrible mistake. You don't want that this close to the end zone. I kind of called it. <clears throat> I actually expected, personally, based on the composition of this team, I expected Eckerberg to be, like, number one. I, I thought they could beat Pancake. Um, thought they'd finish at least in the final. But it didn't happen. My estimations, my prophecies, were wrong. Speaking to the mic, Mike. They have been playing really strong. Their, their, their zone is really tight, difficult to get through. But just the sheer quality of players on the Eckerberg team, um, based on personal experience, kind of, I had great expectations. And they, uh, they, fell up slightly short. <laughs> they fell slightly short of those expectations. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. That's in. That's in. That was in. That was in. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Thelma. Thelma gets the point. Those catches aren't easy. No, they are not. There's a big point disparity, but it doesn't seem like it. Like when Stoner does things right, they do it really right. <laughs> it's like 9 4, but Stoner really has a hard time in front of them. They, they need at least. Three turnovers before the time is over. Hey, if they get to the seven before the time is over and then get a, <coughs> and then get another one, they basically need like three Callahans. <laughs> Stand a chance now. Oh my! And that settles it. That must be it for Stomlin. That's that's it. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not over, but yeah, it's over. <laughs> yeah, it is over. Not time-wise. Yeah, it would be impressive. Be some ungodly skills. Like, if you if you pulled out some kind of, like... Yeah. I'm talking two points a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would truly be impressive. <laughs> Hulkhorn pulls it. White hat bent. Will there be two points a minute? No chance, Magnus is there. As previously <laughs> stated, Magnus and his jump duels. Always. Yeah. Always. And Heine. Heine puts the exclamation mark on the Eckerberg victory. Who knows, they might even over. hit the 13 cap at this speed. Maybe. It's, they, got, they got one and a half minutes to get two points. Possible. You're right. Yeah. That was a goal in 30 seconds. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about a turnover as well. A turnover and then a goal. Some extremely professional accounting from Hulk on. Swings it. White headband swings it. Oh! Blade swing to um, Mr. Line? Mr. One? <laughs> I, I don't know what that is was or is supposed to be. But I think they're using tape for their numbers. Yeah, let's, go, let's go with Mr. Tape. Mr. Tape. Mr. Tape looking for a point in the end zone. Oh, there's oh, it's a great foul game. called, foul called. But it doesn't. Wasn't there a foul called? It's not mentioned. I could have sworn I heard somebody yell foul, but I guess it wasn't, and it was a point. Stovner, well done, well done. This game is just about up. This is this has been um, John and Mike commentating. Behold the alarm! In two, one. Ah. <laughs> Somebody really has to fix that. It's, it's yeah, very that's unpleasant. <laughs> Every tournament. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think other, other. I remember in Bergen there. They Did they have that exact sound? Maybe not that. There are two. There are two layers on the alarm. And Scott finishes the game for Eckberg. Twelve. Twelve to five. And that is game. Hopefully, our commentary has proved somewhat insightful, and hopefully, we'll see you at some future point. Mike and John out. Place. Thanks, the third place, yes.